we must protect free speech at all cost. At all cost. But chanting death to America is in fact not free speech. And I'm so glad I've done my research on this because when you say death to America, here's what you're saying. Kill them all. Kill the president. Kill the, and guess what is a federal crime? To threaten the life of the American president. Death to America, who is the titular head of America? It is the American president. You see, free speech only works with common sense. There are five things that you do not have free speech in. Number one, you know you cannot yell fire in a public place where there is no fire. But also making death threats to the president or making death threats to anyone is not free speech. Now you are becoming a nuisance to society. Defamation is not allowed, which is spreading lies that damage someone's reputation and then encouraging someone to commit suicide. That's your limitations. And in fact, this is a threat to every American and every one of them should be arrested today. Everyone in the... Why are they not arrested why are they not arrested for threatening to kill Americans that's not freedom of speech freedom of speech is anything you want to say no matter how much we like it or don't like it if it harm none as long as it's not harming anyone then you go right ahead but this is an act of terrorism. You are threatening death to America. And listen, if we're going to vilify and create laws for hate speech against homostupidans, I'm sorry, homosexuals, that's going to be a crime for even preachers to preach against it. It's going to be a crime. How is this not a crime? And why is every one of them not arrested? Now, I struggled with this because I believe in free speech. And we're going to talk tonight about free speech. However, that's not free speech. That is death threats to every American, even the American president, which is a federal crime. Everyone chanting that should be arrested for threatening the American president. 